Hey, what's going on guys and welcome to another episode of Building on WordPress. My name is Josh Donnelly and in today's video, we are going to take a look at another quasi-native element that I've been creating for the Cornerstone Builder and that is the Add to Cart Form element. Now, if you are not a Cornerstone user, uh, well, you should be, but if you're not, this video is probably not for you. Now, if you know anything about the Add to Cart Form, this is typically used with variable products and if you have ever used it, you know that the Add to Cart Form is pretty vanilla looking. It just is something like this here which is great because now you can style it however you see fit, but that does take a lot of CSS to accomplish. Now, as you guys know, the majority of the time I'm using the starter stack, which is what we are on here. But if you're using something like Integrity or one of the other stacks, you will have some pre-populated opinionated styles on the forms here as well. But as you'll notice, when you click on those add to cart forms, the only thing that you have control over is margin. So what I wanted to do was add in some more granular customizations that allow you to get into the nitty gritty details of your add to cart form. So let's go ahead and set this back to the starter stack where we have just completely vanilla styles here. And we'll go ahead and delete our add to cart form. Now what I'm going to do is add in the one I've been working on, which is our pixels ATC for add to cart. And this is version 1.0. If I go ahead and drag this out here, you'll notice we already have a very nice baseline form to work with. Now, if you look over on the left hand side here in the workspace, you'll notice that we have a lot of those granular controls that I mentioned here that allow us to get into the details of our form. First, we have our global controls, and these specify things like height, so we could go 5Ms and everything grows equally. Uh, I really like 3.5, so I'm gonna go ahead and set that back. We have our border radius, so we could take this to one and give everything a nice rounded edge. We could set this to 100 and round out everything here. I'm gonna go ahead and just set this back to 0.35Ms because I think that looks pretty good. Then we can specify a global border, and so if we change this to something like five, you'll notice that the border is added to everything in our add to cart form, just for consistency's sake. I'm gonna take this back down to one. Then we have our vertical spacing, so I could take this up to five Ms, and you'll notice everything spaces out vertically, but we'll take this back down to one as well, because I think this looks nice and balanced. And then we have whether or not we wanna show or hide our clear form button. And that you're not gonna be able to see in the Cornerstone Builder, but if we jump out to the front end here and we make a selection like size eight, you'll notice that we have a clear form button here, which when clicked just clears our form. Now, if you didn't want to include that, you simply click hide here, we'll save, we'll jump back out to the front end and refresh. And under size, we'll click on size eight again. And now there is no clear button there and your user could just simply do it themselves. Let's go back over here and now we'll look at the next section, which is our labels. And all of these controls work from top to bottom. So we're gonna start with labels, then we'll go into fields, then we'll go into our hidden descriptions and pricing, which are below our fields here. Then we'll go into quantity and then we'll go into add to cart. So starting in labels over here, we have a sizing control so we can change the size of our labels here. We'll take this back down to 0.75, something like this. We can change the font family and the font weight, the text transform on those labels, and even the text color. We'll go with something like red just for the sake of example here. Then we can jump into our fields, and similarly, we can control the font size of those fields, and we can control the font family, the font weight, and the text transform. So if we want it all uppercase, we could do something like this. You can also click to just deselect the text transform and go with whatever the defaults are on your site. And then you could change the background color of the fields, the border color of the fields, and the text color of the fields. But we'll go ahead and leave those as they are here in our example. Now, the descriptions. What are these descriptions? Well, let's go ahead and save. We'll jump out to the front end here and we'll refresh. And you'll notice we have our red labels up top. Let's go ahead and choose size nine. And I believe I set this on red. So when I select red, you'll notice that we have a little description here. Now, if we wanted some control over this, we could simply come back over here and say, you know what, we want all of those descriptions to be this orange color, and maybe we want them to be all caps. Now we'll go ahead and save. We'll jump back out to the front end and refresh. We'll choose size nine and we'll choose red. And now you'll notice we have all caps orange text. So that's looking pretty good. Now, if you didn't want these to show, you can simply remove those descriptions from each variation in the back end of WooCommerce, or I thought it would be nice to include a toggle in here where you can simply hide the descriptions from showing and we'll save and we'll jump back over, we'll refresh 
and we'll choose size nine and lace color red. And you'll notice just the price shows up now here. So I think that's looking pretty good. Jump back into Cornerstone here and scroll down to price. Now, as you'll see on the front end here, this price is pretty small. Maybe you'd want it to be bigger, a little more in your face. So under price, maybe we make this two M's and we give it a bold typeface. We'll come down to text color and maybe we make this, uh, this pink here. And let's go ahead and save. And then we'll refresh here. And you'll notice when we choose size nine, red laces, we now have a nice stylized price here. Now, if for some reason you didn't want to include this price here, you can simply come into your controls and under visibility, you can click hide. And now when you make that selection on the front end, size nine, lace color red, there is no price to be seen there. Let's jump back into Cornerstone and continue working our way through the form. You'll notice we have quantity. Now within quantity, we can set a spacing. This is the gap between the quantity field and the add to cart button. So I could make this three M's and you'll notice that space between the quantity and the add to cart grows larger. We're just gonna set that back to one. You can also set the background color, the border color, and the text color of the quantity field. And then if you wanted to, not all product pages require a quantity, so you could simply turn off the quantity field and the add to cart button will grow accordingly. Now we can also specify a width on that add to cart button. So we could say we want this to be 40%. You could also do this in pixels. And now we have something like this here. And the nice thing is even if we change this and we go back and we change the visibility of our quantity to show, everything is stylized appropriately there as well. Now on our button, we can change the text size, the font family, the font weight, the text transform on the add to cart button, the background. And because this is a button, you also have your interaction controls on the background on the border and on your text. So with all of that done, we can go ahead and save. We can jump this out to the front end. We can refresh and we see all of our changes applied here. We can come in, choose size nine, choose blue. No price is shown because we had toggled that off. We can change our quantity to five and then we have our add to cart button. Now you might be asking, how is all of this set up? Well, just like with all of my other elements, if you jump back into the Cornerstone Builder and select Manage Element Parameters, you'll be able to see all of the architecture structuring the parameter setup on the left-hand side here. And then if you jump into Customize Element CSS, you'll find all of the CSS that those parameters are controlling inside of there. Now, if you've been following along at all, you'll know that I set up this experimental pixel site. It doesn't have a real name or even a real domain name yet, but this is a place where I have started sharing some of the various quasi-native elements that I have been working on. If you are interested in this add to cart element, let me know and I will consider putting it up in the Pixels library. As always, I hope you guys find these videos useful and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace!